Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. I am Jason Voorhees. A talking Jason Voorhees, okay? <laughs> Obviously I'm just kidding about that. I'm not Jason, okay? You guys just th thought I was? It's okay. It's okay to make that mistake. <laughs> anyway, just want to talk about this particular mask. It is a NECA figure based on, not NECA figure, a NECA product, okay? And it's an actual, um, Reproduction from uh, Final Chapter, which is Part 4, and it has Corey Feldman in it, along with Jason Voorhees. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I want to talk about the mask in general. Let me tell you my story. I started out today and went to Target. There's like three or four different ones in the area. I started off with the first one. I'm looking through and I came across some Toonie Terrors, and I ended up purchasing them there, and yet... I did see this mask sitting on the shelf, and I'm like, ooh, I've always wanted to get one of these. But I said, no, nope, not going to do it, not going to do it. Go to the next one, which is further over uh, in the middle of the city. So I go in there. Again, I look for, you know, NECA uh, figures and, you know, Toonie Terrors and stuff, anything different. I do this on my day off. So I go in there. Again, I see the mask. And I say, pick it up, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, Nope, 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 not going to do it. I leave the store, okay? I go to the very last one. That one. I go in there again, looking for stuff, okay? I finally picked up the actual mask, looked at it, hesitated, put it down, and I said, no, no, not going to do it. I said, fuck it, I'm going for it, okay? So I picked it up, figuring it was around $30. Mm-mm. Nope, I take it to the register, come to find out, it's $52 for this mask. NECA. That's expensive, guys. Okay? I kid you not. I mean, they have it on Big Bad Toy Store for $43, I think they have the price for it. But obviously with shipping and handling, it's the same price, guys. Okay? It's not very cheap. Okay? So what I'm going to do is kind of show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to take it off. And then we're going to go over how it looks and stuff like that, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. So let's get a good look at the mask. Okay. Or as I say, kill, kill, die, die, die. Okay. She's got the little cut. Okay. It fits comfortably. Okay. As you can see, I am Jason. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down, and then we're going to go over the actual looks. Like I said, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Be right back. Okay, guys? Alright, guys, we're back, and we're going to talk about the mask. Alright, first I want to do is go over the actual look of this mask. It is, in fact, the NECA version of the Jason Voorhees mask, like I said. But in some of the masks, they actually do have it stamped. But on this one here, as you can clearly see, there is no stamps or anything on it. Okay, it's just kind of odd that NECA didn't do that. I'm sure they got their stamp somewhere. I just don't see it. All right, but anyway, the um, let's go over the looks of it. Clearly, this is from part four. In part three, I believe, towards the end, I'm not positively sure unless I'm getting the movies confused, is where uh, Tommy ends up sinking the axe into his head. And I think it continues over into the next movie. But then again, like I said, I could be com confusing the situation because I haven't seen these movies in ages, okay? But anyway, this is the actual cut part where he got uh, hit with the axe. And the actual color discrepancies are very cool, okay? Well, let's get into this one here a little bit. All right. Very distinct color patterns. Okay. The snaps, okay? Now, one thing, when I first got the mask, okay... The actual snap was here and here, so it was literally on top of the, uh, the mask. So when I tried it on in the car, it kept slipping off. So I had to literally pull it all the way down to the bottom part of my head just to get the mask on. And then upon discovering, there is in fact these snaps down here at the bottom. So I moved them down and it works like a charm as you already seen. The nose has got like a gray distinctive color to it. Chevrons are pretty straight, so keep this in mind when you order a mask. That if the, uh, the chevrons don't have a straight pattern, as you see. Now, I ordered some um, 
cheap replicas more or less uh, they're a total of maybe a little bit over forty dollars a total of eight of them are coming in sometime in the next couple of days to a week okay there is a set of four that the chevrons are a little bit curved up all right so they're not exact replicas of the jason Voorhees masks but when you actually look at them you're going to automatically say oh that's a jason Voorhees mask and i think that's the main thing that's the reason why i bought them so i can just simply display them on the wall okay we'll go over those once they come in okay back to the colors now you see the snaps here obviously all right the eyes are distinctively round. Now, each mask is completely different. I do want to get a hold of the uh, the Jason X mask, the original, in the beginning of the movie with the wide nose. I'd love to get my hands on one of those. They are very cool looking. Again, the chevrons, okay. Now, I do have another one. Uh, it's actually from Ruby's. It's the actual uh, full head mask which has got the deformed face along with the hockey mask. Um, the hockey mask in itself is absolutely gigantic because the head in itself is huge, okay? It's even big for my head, and I got a big head, okay? So when I tried it on, it's like, holy, I can move my head. I was like bouncing back and forth in the mask. That's how big it was, okay? But um, I think about repainting that mask, okay, to something very similar to this color here. But I got to get some tutorials and do it right. Okay, guys. All right. Now, you see the thickness of this mask? It's extremely thick. It's a very heavy-duty mask, okay? And it does fit comfortably on your face. If you have a big head, it will be a little tight in some, um, some areas of your face. Like on my chin, it does put pressure on my chin a little bit. And that's only because of the straps. You can adjust them so they're actually comfortable, okay? But anyway, this is my Jason Voorhees NECA version of the final chapter, uh, the mask itself, okay? All right, snaps. Now, these snaps can move from here to here, and that's what I did. And come to find out, as you've seen earlier, it fits perfectly, okay? And it looks pretty good for the most part, okay? But anyway, that is my Jason Voorhees mask. I will be concentrating on some of my... Um, Toonie Terrors, okay, I just got a few of them, we'll be doing those next, now I have a collection of them, but I won't do an update on those, on the entire collection, until further down the line, I might do it one day and just pull them all down, and show you everything I got, but I've got a lot of horror, Toonie Terror, and they're NECA figures, we're going to go over that next, but in the meantime, this is Jason Voorhees. You guys have yourselves a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that um, hit that pumpkin horror notification bell, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm just messing around. Just hit that notification bell if you want to check out some more videos. You guys have yourselves a good day. All right, bye.